next to the I'm standing right here, next to the MIPS booth, right at the MIPS booth. Multi-directional impact protection system. So if you're not wearing a MIPS helmet, you might want to consider it. I spent a bit of time here yesterday talking to the guys about what makes MIPS special. And you know, if you want to protect your head, wear a helmet. If you want to protect your brain, get a helmet with MIPS. And it makes a lot of sense because the, the, the impacts that you're getting from helmet crashes are twisting forces, jiggling your brain up inside your head. And that's the dangerous stuff. That's the stuff that can cause you long-term problems and turn you into a nut job or a different person or even kill you. But one thing I didn't realize was how many different types of MIPS now are actually available. Depending on the kind of helmet, depending on um, the, the usage of the helmet, whether it's for road, for downhill, uh, equestrian, there's all kinds of different applications, but each application's got a different version of the system, which helps the helmet rotate around your head so that, in case of an impact, so that your brain and your head don't twist. The helmet does the twisting and shaves off a bunch of that force. So the nice thing on these demos is you can actually see how much the simplest simplest way is how much these systems actually move around inside the helmet okay MIPS to the, to, they're working on this system with the boa uh, enclosure system okay but there's lots of different ones the MIPS C2 again another really good illustration of just how much movement you can get there's like 10 to 15 millimeters of actual rotational movement inside the helmets which is what they're building the helmets to again look at this one here yeah it's going backwards and forwards looks like that the liner looks just like that inside your helmet and then there's of course a different version if the helmet's got a lot of a uh, lot of big vents and not a lot of space to actually build in one of the plastic liners, then there are these little tiny dots that actually connect it and still allow for the 10 to 15 millimeters of movement inside your lid, protecting your head. So there's a lot more going on in helmet technology than uh, I used to think about anyways, and I certainly learned a lot more about it here at the MIPS booth. So yeah, next time you get a helmet, check it out. Uh, check out MIPS. Uh, for instance, my review of the Bell Z20 MIPS equipped helmet is uh, on site. I'm going to put the link down below this video and you can check that one out as well. All right, thanks for watching. Ah, Pez fans. Hey, guess what? I'm at the MIPS booth, which stands for something that begins with the letter M.